Hi everyone, my name is Nicolina Ivanova. I am the founder of Glam Sophisticated Makeup Academy here in Las Vegas. I'm also a professional makeup artist and I'm here to show you how to do this beautiful foxy eye makeup look I just recreated. And um, it was so much fun recreating this because it's very popular right now and I'm sure you've been seeing it all over social media. So if you want to see how I do that, then keep on watching. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics. This is the lip pencil actually, but I love using it for eyes. This is in color Mudslide. It's a very dark, rich brown color. And I'm going to first use this to kind of carve out the wing a little bit. So I'm just adding this very lightly. I'm not really pressing hard. And now I'm going to kind of look up so now nothing is creasing here in my eye. And I'm just going to kind of pull with very light pressure. I'm going to start pulling upwards. Now I'm going to take a very small blending brush like this. This is from Morphe E36. And I'm just going to blend this out because it's a cream liner. It's going to be very easy to blend it out. Now I'm going to use this pink color here. Um, it's a very soft mauve pink color. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this. And now I'm going to start kind of buffing this out because this is cream. So all the pigments I'm applying now, all the eyeshadows, are just going to stick to this cream very nicely. And they're going to blend it very nicely as well. Next, I'm going to take this Morphe E7 brush. This is a bigger blending brush and I'm going to go with the same pink color and I'm going to define my crease a little bit now and connect it to the wing. So I'm just lightly connecting the crease and also I'm kind of swooping it all the way down to the bridge of my nose. So I want to make sure everything looks connected. Now I'm going to take this soft brown color here. I'm going to mix it with this little bit lighter color in the corner. And I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to now darken that crease again a little bit and add more dimension and more uh, definition to the crease. But I'm kind of keeping it here in the kind of two thirds of my eye. I'm not going to go all the way into the corner. Now I'm going to take this brown color and I'm going to mix it with a bit of um, this kind of burgundy color. Um, just because I want to make this wing a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to this wing by just taking a very small brush and I'm just going to kind of buff it going back and forth over this cream. Now I'm going to take the same pencil I was using and I'm going to go right underneath my lower lash line and just going to add a little definition there. And also I'm going to go into my waterline too. And now I'm just blending this kind of going back and forth with a very light hand. I'm not pressing too hard. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm bringing in to the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going with the same palette and I'm taking this small tapered brush and I'm just going lightly with the tip of the brush to these two colors. And now I'm gonna blend and buff out that dark color I have underneath. Next step, I'm gonna take a face wipe and I'm gonna kind of wrap it around my fingers so I can really go underneath and carve it out and kind of clean it up. Now I'm going to take this very soft shimmery pink color with a flat brush like this. I'm going to spray with some Chrissy D Cosmetics uh, setting spray. And I'm going to start tapping this on my eye. You want to make sure you're not moving around. You're just tapping on top of the eye. I'm going to apply some amazing glitter. This is SD Essentials. And I'm going to just spray, I have some on my uh, brush, I'm sure you guys can see this. I'm going to spray it with some uh, sunscreen from Chrissy D Cosmetics, just because I want to make sure this applies really nicely, it doesn't fall on my skin. Ooh, this looks so beautiful. It's my first time using these shimmers and I'm already obsessed. I decided I wanted to add some white liner to my waterline, so I'm just gonna do that to the inner corner here. Now I'm using mascara. This is the Voluminous uh, Carbon Black from L'Oreal. I'm using Ardell lashes, and also I cut them in uh, like two thirds of the outer corner of the lash, so I only apply on the outer portion because I really want that lifted cat eye look or foxy look, so I'm only going to apply them here in the corners. Um, the blue is almost ready, and I'm just gonna kinda put them here. And lastly, I'm going to do my lips. I'm using the Real Her Lip Liner. This is in color I'm Confident. And I'm using one of my favorite lipsticks. This is from a company called Bella Pierre Cosmetics and it's um, in color Incognito. And I'm just going to go over 
this liner and just make sure I blend everything together. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you liked it. And I really enjoyed recreating this foxy eye makeup look. One more thing I wanted to add is if you're doing an eye look like this, you wanna make sure you put your hair up so into a tight ponytail or even put like half of the hair like I did because that really brings your hair, the whole hairline up and it kind of elongates your eye as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, my Instagram handle is Nicolina underscore beauty, which I'm sure you're going to see underneath as well. And it was a pleasure doing this takeover again for Unfiltered Experience.